Middle. Do you do you uh, still watch a lot of basketball or no? I don't. Tell me about that. When and did you stop immediately from the time you stopped coaching? No, I didn't. I watched some of the game evolve and decided, and they went into the lockout year and they did something that was kind of wanky. They did a bubble down in Orlando mm -hmm. and all the teams that could qualify mm -hmm. went down there and mm -hmm. stayed down there. Mm -hmm. No audience. And they had things on their back like, you know, justice and... Uh, yeah, I made a little funny thing like, uh, you know, Justice just went to the basket and uh, equal opportunity just knocked him down. And uh, somebody, I uh, had another name for a guy who has jersey in the back of a jersey, he had some other slogan. So my grandkids thought that was pretty funny to to, to play up those names. names. So I, I, I couldn't watch that. And then Lakers won, actually. They, they won that year. And, uh, do you feel it, like it just made little of the game? Like it made it like a sideshow? What do you think it was that turned you off? Well, it was, it was, uh, they even had slogans on the floor, on the baseline. It was catering. It was trying to cater to an audience or trying to bring a certain audience into play. And it, they didn't know it was turning other people off, you know? Mm -hmm. People, people want to see sports as non political. Mm -hmm. You know, we've had, we've had a lot of different, type of uh, players that have gone on to be like, you know, Bill Bradley was a senator, number of baseball players have been representatives and senators and political, but their politics stay out of the game. Yeah, it's separate. Not, it's doesn't separate. need to be there. You can't make this up. Hall of Fame coach and 11 time champion Phil Jackson claims to have stopped supporting the NBA because it became too political. When it went into the bubble, and was catering to certain audiences by putting slogans on the back of jerseys and Black Lives Matter on the floor. The same Phil Jackson that won championships with some of the greatest black athletes in the history of the game. Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, Shaquille O'Neal, Kobe Bryant made millions on their backs and off their sweat equity. You're sitting up watching the game with your grandkids and y'all think it's funny when justice passes the ball to equal opportunity? When somebody shows you who they are, believe them. So stop watching forever. Well, let's talk about it, y'all. Phil Jackson has a lot of people upset. Uh, people going as far as to call him Phil Jackson racist after hearing the audio you heard at the beginning of this video. Now, uh, if you want to see the full interview if you want to hear the full interview make sure you hit the link in the description so you can hear the full interview between phil jackson and rick rubin but let's talk about it just like jalen rose many people are surprised and shocked to hear phil jackson make these comments especially knowing that he's coached some of the greatest athletes of all time right not just black athletes let's be real there's some of the greatest period michael jordan scotty pippen shaq kobe etc so it's like, you know, you've been around black people, right? Most of your coaching career, you've played around them, you know? You understand that these issues have been around for decades. It's not like this is something that just popped up during the bubble season. No, it's, it's, it's been ongoing for several decades, and yet nothing seems to change out here in the real world. Now, I get it. Sports are sports. Entertainment, all right? This can be a distraction from, you know, your everyday life. You know, and some people, you know, they, they escape from the hardships of reality when coming to these games. I understand. But the players, they can't give you 100 percent if they're distracted by what's going on out there in the real world. You get what I'm saying? Now, I'll be the first to admit the NBA, you know, they capitalized off a moment and found a way to, to generate billions. Right. And did, you know, during the time that they were pushing the, 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 the ad campaign, Black Lives Matter, right, the, the social campaign, right, the raising awareness, as they would, you know, claim, during this whole time, did we see the effect, you know, trickle down to the real world? No. Things are still happening as we speak right now, this year. So, you know, the NBA and their attempts, did it work? Probably not, right? But that's assuming that we actually thought... That this would, you know, somehow, you know, affect change in the streets. No, at the end of the day, the NBA got rich. 
But the fact that people like Phil Jackson and others, right, who are around black people, make money with black people, make money off of black people, they still don't understand the reason why black lives matter. <laughs> Y'all know what time it is, man. Let me know your thoughts down below. Do you agree with Jalen or do you agree with Phil? Let me know down below. But that's all I got for y'all today. Till next time, peace.